Olight Warrior 3. Now, I have the Warrior Mini 2, which I thought was a pretty decent sized light. It's really pretty nice for carrying. And then this thing arrived. This is one manly light. This thing is, again, a, you can see the difference in size here. Really manly, really bright light from Olight. This one's new. Let's take a look at it. The Warrior Mini 3 is new from Olight. Check it out, maybe with some flash sales if you're lucky. The price on this is $119.95. And as you can see, this is a really pretty big light. It's pocketable, but it is gonna be a lot bigger in your pocket than the mini versions of these lights. The Warrior Mini 2 puts out 1,750 lumens and the Warrior 3 puts out 2,300 lumens. And they say it will throw that 300 meters. We'll take it outside eventually and have a look at this. Like I said, $120 for this. If you're lucky, you find it on a flash sale. But let's have a look at this light. This light, if you have the Warrior Mini 2, is really just sort of a big brother. I was gonna say big sister. It's a big brother, a much bigger brother to it. The function is the same, the user interface is the same, but it's bigger and it's brighter and it is meaner. On the back, same dual function tail switch that acts as both a momentary and a full on. The back here, it is magnetic, but because this light is so heavy, you're not going to be able to stick this to a wall because it's gonna fall off. Forward of that, the tail cap that does come off. And inside here, it reveals the included 5,000 milliamp hour, 21700 battery. Big rechargeable battery that comes from Olight. And as long as we're talking about rechargeable, it comes with their magnetic charging cable. This is the two amp one. And that just affixes right onto the back here. It will light up red while it's charging, turns green when it's fully charged. I love these magnetic charging ones because they are just, they can work on all the different lights. The pocket clip here is reversible and with it in either place, you can carry it tip up or tip down because it has their dual directional pocket clip. So you can put it here or you can pull it off and you can mount it back here. If you mount it back here, this is going to be a very deep carry clip, as you can see, because your pocket's gonna go deep all the way down into here. On the side here, there is some grippy knurling. Again, a little bit more aggressive version of what's on the Warrior Mini 2. Grippier, bigger here. And then there is the side button here, which again, works in conjunction with the tail cap. This is the secondary button. And this also, again, like the Warrior Mini 2, it has several features. When it's on, it will give you the battery status here, zero to four LEDs. And then also on the other side, will give you how bright it is from zero to four levels of brightness. Moving forward, the bezel is really quite sharp and crenellated. So if somehow you needed to beat someone or maybe chop down a tree with this, you definitely could again. And just to compare, the Warrior Mini 2 is a lot kinder, gentler bezel than the Warrior 3. Definitely lives up to its Warrior name. And then up in the front there is that cool white LED and that TIR lens, which they again say will throw about 300 meters and we will take it outside and have a look. Some other stuff that this comes with, it comes with a belt clip case. Again, similar. Goes in here. And then this clips down into there. On the back of it, there's a button closure here, or you can just run your belt through it there. When you get it, as with a lot of O-lights, there is the piece, the little yellow tab that protects it. However, on this one, that yellow tab goes the full size of the battery. I pulled it out and I thought, wow, that is really big. But anyway, make sure you remove that before you start using it because otherwise the light won't work. And the standard Olight packaging, usually they have the full size light on the box, but in this case, the full size light is actually larger than the one on the box, but still an exact replica picture of what you're getting inside the box. Now you turn this light on and off with the two different buttons here and they both function differently. The tail button has two different configurations. The factory configuration is that half press is medium brightness and full brightness is turbo. And these are momentary, so you can half press and let go and it is momentary, or you can full press 
and again, let off and it's momentary. Or you can tap it and it comes on and stays on. Tap it again and it goes off. To get between the two different configurations for the tail button, you hold the tail button down, press the side button, and it's now in configuration two. And in configuration two, half press is the turbo and full press is strobe. And this is not, it's all momentary. So you can hold it down, but tapping it does not leave it on in the turbo. And you can't leave it on in the high either if you half press it to tap it. This light also does not have the proximity sensor that the Warrior Mini 2 has. You can see I get him closer and the light is not getting any dimmer. Looking now at the side button, when you turn it on and off, there are four LEDs over here and that's going to show you the battery charge in 25% increments. The other side of this button, when you turn it on and off, will show a brightness. If you long press this side button for about two seconds, light will come on, go off, and it is now locked out. You can't turn it on. To unlock it, hold it down again for about two seconds, comes on to that moonlight mode, and then you can turn it back off, and then it will again, again come back on with mode memory to that moonlight. From there, if you long press it, it will ramp up through the brightnesses, and the ramping is just the middle three modes, low, medium, high, low, medium, high. So off, long press to moonlight, and then low, medium, high, and it again has mode memory, so you turn it off on high, goes back on to high. If you double click, it goes to the turbo, and then again turn it off. From the turbo, when you turn it off, it will turn back on to the high. Looking at the different brightnesses, it's gonna do that one lumen, that moonlight mode for an insane 55 days. Low mode, 15 lumens for 130 hours, 200 lumens for 13 hours, 800 lumens for 166 minutes, and then after that it ramps down to 250 lumens for another 39 minutes, and then that turbo, 2300 lumens, a really bright, really warm, 2.5 minutes, and then it's gonna ramp down to 800 lumens for 160 minutes, 250 lumens for another 39 minutes. The head does start to get pretty warm after it's on, especially those higher brightnesses. And there's not really a whole lot of a heat sink up here for the stuff to diffuse through. Coming outside here, here we go with that moonlight mode. One lumen, and again, plenty bright as always for the right situations when it's dark and your eyes are adjusted. But then you can ramp up to the low, the medium, the high, plenty bright, and when you need it, that turbo. And you can see just how bright it is on that house there. It is a decently focused beam, but you know, sharp edges there you can see on the side, but a pretty wide thrower, I would say. It takes up pretty much the whole distance between those two houses there out to those trees behind it. And it will shine quite the distance if you need it, but that turbo is higher than you're probably gonna need most of the time. So you can use it on high. Again, still plenty bright for most things that you're going to need see there, but even some of those lower modes, medium, still plenty bright. You're gonna get a long run time out of that medium and it's gonna get you plenty of use. You're not gonna need the high or the turbo for most things. And you can see just how useful that medium is gonna be. As a comparison of the full brightnesses between the Warrior Mini 2 and the Warrior 3, here's the Warrior Mini 2 on turbo and there is the warrior 3 on turbo so you definitely can see a difference warrior 3 warrior mini 2 so there you go the olight warrior 3 this is a manly beefy super bright super thrower of a light with that full 2300 lumens it's a large size you can carry it in your pocket but again it's definitely going to be slightly less pocket friendly than the mini versions of them, but still pocketable. So check this one out, pick it up on a sale if you can, or if not, pick it up full price. I'll put some links down below with a discount code that you can get on full priced items. So check that out as well. But there you have it, Olight Warrior 3.